what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i am so happy to be back to filming i had bronchitis for um at least like a week and a half it was so bad i just felt like i was hacking up a lung every time i coughed and it just you could hear it in my voice you could see it in my face i was just really feeling really bad so i took some time off but i am back today filming with one of the new huda beauty obsessions palettes needless to say I'm obsessed. So if you guys want to see how I got this beautiful holiday inspired look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start this eye look off using the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions Palette. I have been so excited to try this. Um, she came out with four miniature palettes that look like this. Um, I liked the mauve one. I thought it was perfect for the holiday season and I already have so many warm tone palettes. I thought that this one would be so pretty. I've already swatched this shade because I was so excited, but I haven't swatched any of the other shades. So I figured I would just wait to see how they would perform on the eyes. Okay. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this whitish shade and I'm going to use that just to kind of set down the base on my eyelids. Um, I I did already prime and set the base but just to make sure everything is nice and even I'm just gonna sweep a layer of that over my eyes I'm gonna take this center shade here I don't think this shades have any names or anything like that but I'm gonna take that brown shade and I'm going to work that into my upper crease as my transition shade it's really pretty. This is my first time using any Huda Beauty shadows. I've never used them before, never tried them. But this is a really pretty shade. It's really pretty. It has like a like a warm like pinkish brown undertone in it. And you can't really tell that until you actually put that on the eye, but it's super pretty. And so far these shadows are blending really nicely. They're not uber pigmented where I would just have so much. I can build it up, which I really enjoy. That is really pretty so far. So using the same brush, I'm going to pick up this beautiful pinkish cranberry shade and I'm going to also apply that into the crease. I'm sorry that my hands are super shaky. I had coffee and now I feel kind of crazy. Oh, it's really pretty. So now I'm going to go into this rich cranberry shade here in the corner. I'm going to lightly pick it up because I am a little scared. Actually, I'm a little scared. And I'm going to focus this on the outer V and smoke it in. That's so pretty. Holy bejesus. A little bit goes a long way with these shadows. Like, I can't even. These are so gorgeous. Um, then I'm just going to go back in with the first shade I used, the one that's in the center here, and move this back and forth in the crease once more just to kind of blend everything together. So far, I'm really loving this palette. Like, really loving this palette. So I really want to use one of these beautiful shimmers, but I also have the new ColourPop Supernova shadows, except I only have the two gold shades. I should really honestly should have picked up one of the mauve shades because it would look so good with this eye look. But I'm debating whether or not I want to use one of these or if I want to use one of the shimmers. So I have these two beautiful gold shades from ColourPop. I think I'm going to save these for another video. And I will test those out and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer onto my lid and I'm going to use 
this beautiful shade. I can't stop looking at it, so I think I want to try that. I'm gonna pack this beautiful cranberry shimmery shade on the concealer. Oh my lord, how pretty. That is so freaking stunning. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that dark cranberry shade and work that more into the crease, kind of deepen this area back up a bit. And I'm gonna take a smidge of this shade, actually this like eggplanty. And I'm going to pop that in the same place, just a little bit, just to kind of deepen that up a little bit more. My god, that's so pretty. And I'm taking a clean fluffy brush and just kind of blending out this edge here just a little bit. I already have my foundation everything done, so I'm just kind of blending this out just a tad. And that is so pretty. I also want to take a little bit of this shade right here, and I kind of want to focus that on the inner corner. I think I need a little Fix Plus. So I'm going to spray a little Fix Plus on my brush. And now I'll pick up that shade. In the inner corner. How stunning is that? Oh my god. I'm living for this eyeshadow palette. Living. Okay, so I did the same thing on this eye, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the lower lash line. I'm just gonna mix a combination of, of the two lighter warm shades that I use. I'm just gonna mix a combination of those two. Sweep that underneath the lash line. I hate showing my lash line on camera, it's so ugly. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna pick up that deep cranberry shade here in the corner and I'm gonna tight line that. I'm gonna take this white shade once more and I'm gonna use that to highlight my brow bone. This will just help to clean up around the brows. I'm gonna pop some um, winged liner on, some falsies, and then I will be right back. Okay, I popped some lashes on, my makeup is complete. I have to say, this is probably one of the prettiest eye looks I think I've ever done. I'm obsessed with this little palette. Um, it pretty much has everything you need to complete a beautiful look. Um, it retails for $27 and it does come in a variety of different shades. I'm definitely going to pick up another one because the quality in her shadows is just insane. Like you can see 
how pigmented the mattes are, how beautiful the shimmers are, and they just blend out so easily. They're so pretty. One thing is there is some fallout with um, some of the shimmer shades, but I think that's because they're a certain type of formula. I think they're a foiled shadow. I think they're just supposed to be like a glitter pigment. Um, so I think that's why they have a little bit more fallout than um, regular shimmers do because there is a regular shimmer in here and it's beautiful and doesn't have any fallout. So I'm super excited to keep playing with this palette. I love it so much. I can't believe that I haven't tried any Huda Beauty shadows because they are phenomenal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!